Greetings. Okay. Oh, upgrade a card. Max hit points plus seven. Lose all gold. Starting relic for a random boss relic. Well, this really screwed us up the other day. I think max hit points plus seven sounds pretty good to me. <clears throat> Upgrading a card. This is really nothing that we need upgraded right now. Boss relic. I feel like it's just too risky. Sometimes the boss relics... I know. Yeah, the starting relic is, is pretty good. And like, a lot of times the boss relics, even though they do something good, they probably are going to do something really terrible as well. And uh, being that I just really want to get through it, I, I, I'm, I am a sucker for chaos. I do, I love it. But, we're trying to make this happen. So, I'm going to go with max hit points. Granted! Hopefully that pays off. We don't really have a lot of gold. Not too concerned about getting into a room right now with that. So the question marks are something that I don't really need to hit all of them. We have some elites. Would like to get two of them. So the only way to get two of them is to go up this... This center here. So I have to go up either the middle or the left. So it looks like I'm going to go up... The left here. It's the same result either way. Two, two fights, a question mark. Two fights, an elite. Ooh, no rests for a while. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, upgrade the zero cost. Oh, I guess, yeah, the zero cost for neutralize to get the extra weak and extra damage. Would be pretty good. Hopefully, this pays off. Okay. Starts us off. We'll trash this dude in the front. Get him out the way. And I'm going to... Well, the one weakened really is not going to do anything for us, but we'll hit him with it anyway because it's free. Got this party started. It doesn't look like I'll be able to take it this round because I'm not going to get enough strikes, but... I'll be able to get some defense in. I'm just gonna stack defense so I don't have to worry about getting hit. It's not like it's gonna ramp up really. I'll save all my all my hit points. The less I take, the better. <clears throat> There's no reason to even do that. Oh yeah, it becomes really good when you upgrade it because then you get it for two turns in a row. I, I completely agree with you. Okay. So, the cool thing is now you can vote to throw a card in the deck. I definitely suggest we throw in cow traps early. Um, but you can vote number one in chat um, to throw dagger spray in there. Deal four damage to all enemies twice, which is also a really good spell. Uh, dodge roll. Um, gain four block, and next turn gain four block, and then cow traps. Power, that's power that whenever I'm attacked, I deal three damage back. So, all good stuff. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But, but, like, I'm definitely a fan of cow traps. Thanks for the voting. Oh, just um, type the number one in front of that, Connor. Um, like a hashtag, essentially. And that will put in the vote. And thank you for joining us. Welcome. Welcome to Shake the Box. <laughs> On this fine Wednesday afternoon. Appreciate the vote. Okay, cool. I love, I, I love that spell, so I'm very happy to have it. Would it be considered a spell, or is it just a card? Alright. I'm gonna get all this defense up. I feel like this guy... I think he, uh, strengthens. So I don't want to go too defensive on him. Oh, I should have done the 8 block. Dang it. 
Whoops. Yeah, I think he strengthens now. I could have got some damage in there. Okay, he's gonna buff. Like I said, I'm pretty sure he's gonna strengthen himself. Just not gonna make this easy. Okay. It's eight damage. Alright, so, I'm gonna try my hardest just to not take any unnecessary damage. Why is this block persisting? Unless he recast it. Oh, he recast it. If I only had just a little more. He's gonna get some damage through eventually. I feel it. Especially now. Neutralize this fool. Taking away at him. Slowly but surely. But he's so powerful. Alright. This is it. We got him. No damage. Okay. Ooh, ghost in a jar. Intangible. Love that. For one round, we're intangible. Okay, we can vote again. Number one for a poison stab. Deal six damage and add three poison. We can get a deflect in there, zero cost, gain four block, or backflip, gain five block, and draw two cards. I'm usually a fan of a poison build with this kind of character, but. All good stuff. Appreciate you voting these in. Hopefully we get a solid run on this one. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, definitely, but at least we can... We don't really have any powerful attacks. Maybe we'll get lucky. Thanks for the vote, Grace. Graciously, Grace. Appreciate you voting in. Welcome. Welcome to the Shake the Box. Okay, I think there's the fluff cat is in the background there. Just hanging out. <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know. Craziness. A strange blue humanoid with a golden helmet approaches you with a huge smile. Hello, friend. I'm a cleric. Are you interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. Okay, I can heal, which we don't need. I can remove a card from our deck for 50 gold. Or I can leave. I can very inexpensively remove one of these early game cards. So I think... <clears throat> I think I'll do it. I think... Maybe I'll get rid of a strike. Now that we have two more new attacks that went into the deck. Okay. Cool. Removing a strike. Oh, you saw you saw the cat? This dash. Where the hell is he? There he is. Dash is hanging out. Observing the good old outdoors. It's where he'd rather be. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing it. We're purifying. We are getting rid of a strike. Glad you agree, Mandrick. A cold blue flame envelops your body and dissipates. The creature grins. Cleric talented. Have a good day! Okay. So far, we're doing pretty good. 
All right, so these dudes, when they receive attack damage, they roll up and gain three block. So essentially, want to hit him with as much damage in the first hit as possible to get that through. So I'll poison stab. Oh, I got some damage coming in. And they still are attacking. We got 14 damage coming in. Get rid of one of these strikes. So we're taking a hit. I was hoping that maybe I was hoping that maybe when I when they curled up, they wouldn't attack anymore. That is not the case. We'll strike down this fella, kill him. Although I could have neutralized on him, because he would have died anyway from the poison. Okay. It's strengthening. Thankfully, it's not attacking. So, we got this one. Spray all day. That shit cray. Yeah, I should have sprayed. I should have sprayed, dude. Okay, we can add another card to the deck. We can add, for number one in chat, um, we can add a finisher, deal six damage for each attack play this turn. And number two, for quick slash, deal eight damage and draw one card. Or three, gain four block. You can also do number zero in chat if you want us to skip adding any cards to our deck. Finishers one, Energy, quick slash is one energy, deflect is zero. Generally speaking, the cards with the blue headliner um, are better cards. Doesn't necessarily mean it's better for the deck, but just better cards. Yeah, I mean, I, I like finisher because it's the same thing as a strike but better it doesn't cost anymore it does the same damage but it has a potential of doing more in the long run and quick slash I like because you're getting some extra damage and you're getting the draw on it so they're both pretty good we went with a skip okay so this one's gonna be a little harder We'll neutralize <clears throat> to reduce some of that incoming damage. So we only need to use one defend on top of that. And we can strike. I'm going to try to get rid of... Actually, yeah, I'm going to try to get rid of the fella in the back first just to get him out of the way. Even though I know that the dude in the front's gonna ramp up. Dagger spray all day. I love that. It's such a good card. Alright, maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, they both try to ramp up, that's true. But I feel like he's more consistent with the incoming damage. 14 damage coming in. Yikes, so we're taking we're taking a hit. Still have a good amount of health, but we're taking a hit. That's just a no-brainer. And we're done. Alright, we're still doing pretty good. Third in. Okay, so we got some cards again. We can vote in number one for a masterful stab that costs one energy for each time you lose hit points this combat and deals 12. Um, that's scary. Um, you got a dodge and roll, gain four block, and next turn gain four block, and eviscerate costs one less energy for each card discarded this turn and deals six damage three times. So you don't have any way to discard cards. Uh, 
Um. Yeah. We don't have any ways to make four go off. Masterful stab seems frightening. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, none of these cards really, I'm not really into any of them, personally. Dodge and roll is nice, but. I mean, that's true. I can play a very defensive build. Grab that, but. We skipped. Okay. We're good on health, so hopefully we can take this. Out. Oh no! Okay. I have a survivor, so this is good. I'm gonna do that and just take the one damage. I'm gonna get some... ...in on them. The one in the front first. So I'll take a hit. I mean, you have a very good point. It's 12 damage, just 12 damage, but like already it would have gone up. I feel like I'm, I'm not tanky enough yet for that to work. Get some blocks in here. Taking another five damage. Still good enough, though. These days are going to be really annoying, however. Let's discard our dazed. Let's defend, because it's the only thing we can do. Really got to get rid of one of these, because we're going to get... We're, we're in a... Bad spot because we're just gonna keep getting those. Man. I can take this dude out. I'm not getting hit that much. I guess I'll save this intangible for when I need it. The only problem is, it's now we can't avoid the next elite. Okay, we're just gonna get rid of this guy in the front. He's going to attack now. He's going to attack next. Maybe we'll get lucky and get enough damage to kill him next round before he attacks. Yeah, this this one's a, a tough early one because I just don't have enough damage to, to dish out every way. So the answer was a hard no on that. Technically, we'd only need two strikes in my hand next turn to kill this guy, so let's hope. Even though he's attacking. Uh-oh. It's getting bad. Actually, I shouldn't have discarded that last time. I definitely want to just get him out of the way. Alright, so I sh hopefully won't take any more damage. Oh, taking a little bit. And this messed us up, but at least we're out of this. 
What do we get? If you don't play any attacks during your turn, gain an additional energy next turn. I feel like that's not gonna come up. But, it's there. Discard any number of cards and draw that many. Okay. We got some good cards here to choose from. Um, number one in chat for Skewer. Deal seven damage. X amount of times. So, it, it, the more energy I have, the more damage it'll do. A Noxious Fumes. At the start of your turn, apply two poison to all enemies, which is just ridiculous. And a Backstab. Uh, this is an eight. So it starts in our hand and deals 11 damage for nothing and it's exhaustible. Appreciate your votes. <clears throat> is this the first time you're using a uh, voting system with a streamer, Manjer? Cool. That's cool. Yeah, I love it. It, it. I've learned so much about the game through chat, like via your ability to pick cards. Um, I just learned about the game, but it just makes it more fun anyway. I like to see what happens. I mean, honestly, I should have hit. I should have picked something right at the, the end there. The last turn just to have a card, but alas, I did not. All right, we're gonna noxious fumes him and we're gonna defend all this damage. So now we got some poison going in, so we have enough to avoid that damage. We can poison stab him and strike him. And whittle him down with poison. Yeesh, that's a lot of damage coming in. Get rid of a strike. And then defend again. We don't have to worry about the damage. We're almost there. Thanks for the poison. Can we kill him this turn? That'd be really nice. Yes, we can. Thankfully. Because that was a lot of damage. Thanks for the votes, everyone. All right. <clears throat> Some more dope cards available to us. Number one to add blur. Again, gold cards are the best options for cards. Not necessarily the best for the deck, but usually the best cards overall. But anyway. Uh, we have a blur for number one. Gain five block. Block is not removed at the start of your next turn. Number two for backstab. Innate starts in our hand, deals 11 damage for free, but then disappears. And then uh, in Venom, whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. All right, we're already starting with a pretty dope poison build, so that might be our, our best option there. What's up, Varanon? Welcome, welcome. Thief guy out for another try, on huh? Yeah, I died, I think, three times yesterday with with the uh, silent, which is just like, what is going on? Usually, like, this is the this is the, the character for me. Um, but we're already off to sort of a rocky health start. Our first elite really laid into us hard. But we can still do it. We'll just have to rest as soon as we can. Appreciate those votes, everyone. Okay. So, if we can get through this elite, we can get a good rest in. And if we do really good, we can even get another fight in. Okay, he's gonna wake up anyway. I have no real ways to buff myself. It's not like I'm applying anything. Although I might just... I might just... Hey, what's up, Jossie D? Welcome in, welcome in. I like the robot a lot too, dude. <sighs> we can always use the intangible po potion, that's true. The robot is a really hard character to play with. 
All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go in on this fool because I can wait the next round to get this poison out. But I have a lot of defenses coming up, which is good. So I kind of want to get this damage in now while he has no nothing to block. Although I'm using two. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do this because he's blocking right now anyway. We're just gonna enter. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my powers in. I got banked. What's going on? Welcome in the chat. Thanks everyone for joining in. Hopefully we can uh, make this happen. I'm gonna get all my powers in. So now when I deal unblock damage, he's gonna get hurt. No, he does not waking up yet. He's going to wake up next turn. So I'm going to end this one more time. But I feel like I can weaken him and he won't wake up. But either way, he's going to be stunned. Alright, I'm going to have to use this intangible potion on this fight for sure. <clears throat> Alright, so. Big damage coming in. So I'm going to defend a chunk of it and get some more poison in it on him. That's what we need. Okay, this dagger spray is going to work really good with this power that we have with the Envenom. Oh, yes. Oh, that's true, too. I know it with no attacks, I got the extra energy. So it actually worked out pretty good for us. Good call on that, manager. I gotta remember about that. But, I mean, how often will it come into play? Not often, but it worked for this. I'm a snake. I'm a snake. Okay. I feel like I can just kind of tank up and just keep poisoning. On this one. So I'm gonna get rid of a strike. I'll avoid as much damage as possible and just let the poison work its magic. The orbs are the coolest part about about the uh, the robot, the defect. It's a, such a cool character, honestly. It's just hard to work. <laughs> All my fleshy mammals. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's let's go in on this fool. Any unblocked damage is going to add poison. He's doing a negative effect on me anyway. I have two energy left, so I'm gonna do this. Discard any number of cards and draw that many. Get, I'm gonna get some more attacks in while I have a chance. Look at that. Look at that, what? Good play, good play. Yeah, remembering passwords are one of my least favorite things. All right, so we just gotta get, that's it. We got this, just get some damage in on him and, and and we win. Look at all that poison he's taking. Whew, that was a near flawless elite. Thank you, chat. Appreciate you joining in for that. And helping add to this dope deck already. All right, we got an oddly smooth stone. Start each combo with a dexterity. I'll take it, especially if we're going to poison, poison build. We can get a little defensive, a little poison on us. I don't feel like I am that good at Slay the Spire, um, but hang out and chat and see how this deck gets built. I mean, I haven't I haven't put one card in this deck, so technically it's Manjerk, Gracie Grace, Baranon, anyone who's, who's voted on some cards here um, has made this deck possible. <laughs> it's all thanks to you. Okay, so you can vote in chat. Number one for Flying Knee deals eight damage. Next turn, gain an energy. Uh, outmaneuver next turn, gain two energy. Or this masterful stab uh, costs one additional energy for each time you lose hit points and deals 12 damage. So how do the votes work? You basically just write the number of the card or relic that you see appear on screen that you want to add to the deck. And I am open to any suggestions. It seems to be that we're going already. We're going kind of a defensive poison build. 
which we were trying to do yesterday, but we ended up getting bogged down with some cards, like the attack cards and the shivs and stuff. So now it seems to be already stacking up um, that we got some really good cards for some poisons in here. So it seems to be the way deck's going. For anyone who's just joining in, even though we're just starting our run, we're about a half hour in. Um, the new cards that we've added so far is a Dagger Spray, which is really dope because we have an Envenom here. So whenever an attack damage deals un uh, whenever our attack deals unblocked damage, we apply poison. So any multi hits are going to stack really well with Envenom. Um, we have a Poison Stab to add some poison and a Noxious Fume. So at the start of our turn, I can apply two poison to all enemies. Um, we just added a Flying Knee to deal eight damage the next turn, gain an energy. To help us get more damage in and combo cards better. Yes! Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. Give me all the dexterities. Another good thing about this run so far is we're actually getting... We're actually getting... Um, relics that help. Okay, so now we have some money so we can go try to spend it here at the store maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll rest maybe maybe we'll rest question mark then we'll smith fight and smith possibly see where it goes all right what's in the store for us what's in store for us so we can't buy anything here with our relics which stinks we have a draw three cards and discard a card acrobatics on sale accuracy uh, it's so tempting because it's such a dope card but I don't want to get bogged down with like another alter option here <clears throat> transportation I can't afford and deals six damage to all enemies is pretty nice But, I think that what I'm going to do is, I might, oh, your stream may or not be lagging due to the fact that League of Legends decided to update. Um, yeah, let me know if anyone's seeing any, any bog downs in the stream. For sure, definitely let me know. I'll do what I can to make it so it's not doing that for you. <clears throat> You might be mad at League, but that's my fault. Oh, you got rid of his skin? That's worth much money. That sucks. Alright, so either way, let's, let's get rid of another strike. We got some better attacks. So this is 8 damage. We have better attacks to use here, so let's get rid of another strike. Especially now we're going kind of defensive. We want to tank up. And we can add another card to our hand. A quick slash would be nice. Um, I agree, quick, but I'm thinking a dagger spray. Really because I want those multi-hit attacks. And it's all enemies. And with, with this... With this Venom card, whenever it deals unblocked damage to anyone, it applies a poison. So I'm thinking that this is overall the best option here, if we want to spend the money, which I think I'm going to. I could buy this too. But, I'm not going to. I'm gonna hold true. It's crazy to me that I've never actually played League. Such a rare skin and he lost it. Yeah, I had I had problems with games like that where Okay. I like lost really valuable stuff. Or didn't collect it when I had the chance. You come across a dead adventurer on the floor. His pants have been stolen. Also, he looks to have been eviscerated and chopped by giant claws, though his possessions are still intact. You're in no mind to find out what happened here.
Take him. I mean, I do have another rest coming right up. So instead of smithing, I can do this. <sighs> okay. Hmm, I couldn't find anything. No, I hate this dude. While searching uh, the adventure, you're caught off guard. Okay, so hopefully... I think this is, I can get, this is an elite, technically. So I should be able to get a, a good relic from him. It's more poisonous than your silent rogue. Okay. Man, I wish I had... I wish I had an venom in our hand now. Okay, we're gonna neutralize him just because it's free. And we'll dagger spray him twice. Got a good amount of damage in on him, first turn. Mmm, don't like this. Alright, whoa, he's got a lot of damage coming in on us. Alright, well we only have one defend. I could... Intangible on him. But I will save it until I need it. Oof. I know, the intangible is is definitely worth using. But, I feel like I'm not gonna have three po potions before the next boss, so... I'm only saving it. I'm only saving it for when I need it. Does this dude- I was gonna say, does she just keep laying in the attacks? So it's not going to be fun. Okay, going to definitely do this to add the poisons. I kind of want the flying knee to get the extra... Oh wait, actually I can do everything. I had the extra energy this turn, so... That worked out perfectly. Yeah, I definitely wanted to do the flying knee, but I was trying to... I was In my mind, I was debating whether or not I should do the flying knee or the poison strike, but I turned out that I had the four energy. Okay, so I get... Only one attack in. I'm just gonna defend up here. Oh, it's so tempting. You know what? I'll save the one health. Oh, I can still attack! Ah! Oh! I was- I, I keep forgetting I have all this extra energy. But that's alright. We just have to do a little bit of damage to him. Alright, we got it. So, even though I made a mistake, it didn't cost us anything. Alright. Whew. I was nervous about that. Oh, a pair! Upon pickup, raise your max hit points by 10. Look at us. Got a lot of max, we just gotta heal. I might as well just heal again. Fire potion. I'll take it. Okay. We get it. We can add more stuff to our deck. Uh, number one in chat for a sneaky strike. What community is like a plague? Varanon. Oh, League of Legends. Duh. Well, I don't know. I don't know much about it. I hear that, but is it true? Anyway. Number one is for Sneaky Strike, if you deal 10 damage, if you have discarded a card this turn, gain 2 energy. I have no way to discard cards yet. Bane, oh yeah, here it is, Poison Bill, baby. Deal 7 damage, if the enemy has poison, deal 7 damage again. Or an escape plan, draw 1 card, if you draw a skill, gain 3 block. Which, you know, we do have a good amount of skills, we have a lot of defenses, so this is not a bad one either. I would say 2 or 3, but my heart's with 2. I definitely wouldn't skip on this run because these two, Bane and Escape Plan, are pretty good for our be our deck right now. Oh yeah, no, I this definitely going pretty poison heavy right now. I got bang, banned. We are we have Envenom, which every time I deal on block damage, I get one poison to the enemies. I have two dagger sprays. So I have two stackable attacks. 
Um, I have a poison stab. I have the noxious fumes, which also adds poison. So we are going pretty poison already, and we're early on in. All right, so I think I'm going to go here. This will overheal me. Actually, no, it won't. So we'll rest. We'll get almost the max. And then we'll... I, I, I'm going to smith after this fight. So I am going to smith, Manjer. But I want to go into the, the boss with a lot of health. So I'm going to smith the next one. Try to play a few times, and each time it was the same thing. Even when playing with friends. Oh, with League? Yeah, because I guess because of the learning curve for us, like, being that we haven't really played the game. Okay, definitely gonna Survivor. I don't have any poison, so I'll get rid of that. Hmm. I want to defend twice. And, oh man, I, wish I wanted to Noxious Fumes too. Oh, oops. Well, that was a mistake. That's okay, though. So now they're probably going to strengthen or do whatever they're going to do. Okay. This actually worked out perfectly. Okay. So... Guess I will do this again. It stinks that I'm taking the seven damage, but it's really not that much, so. And then they're guaranteed death. All I gotta do is end turn. Pretty good. <laughs> why, why would you highlight that laser? But hello, welcome. Thanks for joining in. Was it fun though, Varanon? Was League fun? Because, I mean,. People love it. Just kill. 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 Guarantee death. Swift potion. Draw three cards. I'll take it. All right. Oh my god. The poison cards just keep coming. It's so beautiful to see. Okay. We can add escape plan. Number one. Draw one card. If you draw a skill, gain three block. Number two, Crippling Cloud. Apply four poison and two weak to all enemies. How beautiful is that? Or number three for Cloak and Dagger. Gain six block and add a shiv to her hand. Or we can skip. But I feel like this is Crippling Cloud is too good to pass up. Oh, so... I don't know why your points would have disappeared as far as your chat points go. Um, some of the commands that work when Chris is streaming on Shake the Box might not work when I'm streaming. Um, but the points will work no matter who is streaming for the channel. Yeah, I, weak, is, weak to all enemies is, is pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Big fan of that. Thank you so much for all the votes. Thanks for joining in. Appreciate you hanging out with me on my journey with the silent. Alright, so now let's definitely smith. Okay. So, noxious fumes will get us an extra poison on all enemies. This is, makes it so much cheaper, which I really like. Crippling Cloud is seven poison. That's a lot more poison, but it's exhaust ability. Thinking one of these two powers might be our best option for the upgrade. If we had a third attack here. Oh, don't worry about the delay. I appreciate you voting either way. All right, so what do you guys think in chat? Should we do Noxious Fumes or Envenom? If we do Noxious Fumes, it's one poison to all enemies every turn, an extra poison, guaranteed. I'm 
leaning towards that one because that's pretty nice. Um, and the power card is whenever I deal unblocked damage, I apply one poison and just makes it a little bit cheaper. Three per turn. Okay. Noxious, noxious. Okay. Yeah, we got some. Let's go on Arcane Her Heretic. How are you? Nice. Thanks for joining us. Knock stacks faster. Okay. Yeah, the, the other card, the low cost card, um, was the one from the beginning of the game, which is a good naturalize, a neutralize rather. Um, that is a good card to upgrade, Varanon. The low cost card. <sighs> the only thing that you found was the character choices and variety of skins. Leveling up was fun and um, playing against both bots was enjoyable for a time. <clears throat> I, I, dude, it, it really does seem like a really cool, cool game. We, we actually accidentally passed up on cow traps earlier. Um, squirrel. Which is a phenomenal card to have. We, we accidentally passed up on it. Alright, Guardian. What do you have for us? We can draw three cards here. He's gonna block up. So I guess I'll just... Get in some... Poison. Start this... Off. We'll get another week on him, stack that. Keep him weak for as long as possible. And some damage in. Alright, we have to remember we have intangible. So whenever he's about to do a... You know, a really big hit that's gonna kill us... We will do that. <clears throat> we have no way to avoid this really big hit. <laughs> But again, I gotta save it for when I need it, I guess. Yeah, I know. It's like, should I? It, this is a really big hit. What? Is there gonna be a bigger one? I feel like there could be. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. I had better options than that to upgrade now, so. Which is the reason why I did. I guess I can block some to avoid some of this attack, or I can start laying in some more poison although it's unblocked damage and I won't even get through his block for that poison so I'm going to put the defense on because I wouldn't have gotten any damage through him anyway okay I'm definitely gonna noxious fumes here all right we have we can get all of our attacks in so he's got poison so he's Gonna get poisoned twice. Ooh, this is interesting. When does he come out of this little shell? Oh, so we have to remember that for the fire potion. So we're gonna keep that in mind for next time. He has a shield. Just kick him over in defense mode. That's right. All right. I have to remember that, 421. Thank you for the heads up on it, because I definitely forgot about that as an option. So basically, when he's in attack mode, there's like a little shield, it's, it's malleable or whatever it was on the bottom. So as soon as that breaks down into zero, he goes into this defensive mode. Oh, you gotta praise it? You wanna praise the sun? Praise the sun. <laughs> I'm surprised my stream isn't freezing. Well, I'm happy that it's not because I don't know if it's lagging or not. I, you know, someone mentioned that it might be a little laggy. Oh, Twitch gun, what are you listening to on Spotify? Okay, if you attack but defend first. If you attack but defend first when he is defensive. Whenever you play an attack, I take three damage. Yikes. Okay. So I'm going to avoid damage here and then just get a little bit in on him. So it it balanced out, so I'm not taking any damage, but still got some energy, extra energy for next turn. So now he's Oh, I thought maybe he was gonna pop back into the other mode. We've got 16 damage coming in this time. I'm gonna defend again. 
And I think I'm just gonna lay in some more... Poison? Is it worth it? Oh, nice! The uh, church just came up yesterday in Discord. And if anyone wants to post those links in chat, if you want to join the chat in, uh, in Discord, and to banter there, you can hang out with us. So it's exclamation point links in chat for that information. But yeah, Churches is pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. It's, do I want to draw these three cards just to get another block? I mean, uh, chances are I won't. But maybe I'll get a neutralize and maybe I can just weaken that incoming damage. <sighs> Everything happens at 2 a.m. Ain't that the truth. All right, good. I got my defend. Good. So I'm going to defend. So now I won't take any damage. I'm not even going to bother neutralizing him. Even though I want to get the extra poison in, I just want to avoid damage and kind of hunker down as much as I can because that poison is working magic here. All right, so now I got to get 40 damage in on him to put him back into defensive mode, which I probably can do, especially, yeah, it's already been done with poison. Yeah, once poison pops off, he's gonna go back into defensive mode. Does he attack when he's in defensive mode? I s sort of forget, so as a precautionary me method, I'm just gonna do that. That's gonna hit him in defensive mode. Okay, now I have to remember that when he goes into defensive mode, he's not gonna attack right away. Oh yeah, he is. No, he doesn't, okay, cool. So I could have done one more attack. Okay, so now he's got thorns coming our way. So I want to make attacks count. So I'm just going to block up. I'm not going to hit him twice. I guess I'll just let the poison whittle away at him here. I could just hit him with a fire potion, but I'll save that for when he's in offensive mode. Just going to let the poison do its thing. It's the way to do this build, I think. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm usually awake at... Both of those times, 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. <laughs> because my sleeping schedule is trash. And I was going to play Risk It Rain 2 um, in ch with someone, I think it was, I forgot who mentioned it this morning uh, in, in, in Discord. But they're like, oh yeah, play some Risk It Rain 2. It was 7 a.m. And um, I didn't have Risk It Rain 2. And then, oh, it was Flytris. And then and when I woke up and when I got into st my Steam account later in the afternoon, I noticed that Slepnir sent me Risk of Rain. Oh, what's up? I got banned. I didn't know that you were you. So I can play with you now off times because Slepnir sent me Risk of Rain 2 as a gift, which is fucking awesome. Because I wanted to play that game, <clears throat> but I've never owned it and it, I lost the sale. Okay, so, gonna defend, avoid as much damage as I can. He's doing some. Um, I guess I'll get the extra energy for next turn so I can break him out. And even though I'm gonna get damage from this, I sorta just wanna get the more poison in. I feel like poison's worth it take the hit. Especially when I still have that intangible potion. Yeah, I've never played the game, so I, I might play off stream for my first run with the Risk of Rain first, see how it, how it plays, and then I will be joining you. Some Risk of Rain. Sounds really cool. I've seen Chris play it on stream, so I, I have an idea of what it's about. Oh, uh, Veranon, who's in chat, actually got me this headset. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything really good. I love it, it's said for the fact that the earpieces are like chipping away, so sometimes I'll actually have like pieces of the fake leather <laughs> on my head after I'm done streaming. Um, but it's the Sadie's SA708. They, it is a really nice headset. I don't know if that's going to 
Focus, probably not. And that's the logo for the company. It was inexpensive, and it works real good. And they sound great, honestly, they sound great. <clears throat> you don't know me well enough, you already have two people to play with regularly? Well, I hope that we get to know each other better, Slug Cat Life. <laughs> um, and I gladly play with anyone. All right, so I, we got the we got the win on this one. We're just gonna go in some damage. Just lay it in there. We're doing more damage than than he can take. So I'm gonna enter turn as soon as his turn starts. He's killing himself. All right, another fire potion. I'll take it. All right, chat. Anyone who might be new here and just joining in, you can actually vote to add cards to our deck. Right now we're going with sort of a defensive defensive poison build. So, if you want to, you can vote to put something into our deck. Um, you put number one in chat, add tools to the trade. At the start of your turn, you can draw one card and discard one card. Um, at bullet time, you can draw additional cards this turn. Reduce the cost of all cards in your hand to zero this turn. Holy cannoli. And also, Glass Knife, deal 8 damage twice and decrease the damage of this card by 2 this combat. Interesting. So, multi-hits definitely help because we have in Venom, which makes it so every time we hit, we add poison into the deck. So that it is good because it's a really cheap multi-hit. But it's, it's not that much damage, but it will help us get poisons in. Bullet time is just, it seems to be just an amazing card. Basically, we pop bullet time and everything in our hand we can play. Um, so no matter how many cards we have drawn or whatever the case is, we could just kind of play everything. Oh, and the other card is what it is. Thanks for votes. Oh, yeah, you also like what... Um, Flytris, or I got banned, said is that you can vote zero and then skip, which is pretty dope. Okay, now we can also add a relic. I please don't vote on Snekalai, um, but Snekalai, at the start of your turn, draw two additional cards, start each combat with Confused as an option. Um, number two, we got upon pickup, choose and add five cards to our deck. Interesting. And uh, ectoplasm, gain energy at the start of your turn and you can no longer gain gold. Don't like that early on in. Um, or we can skip and not take any of these um, by doing number zero in chat. I feel like this is the one that doesn't really hurt us. We can add cards. Hopefully they're good cards. I mean, it, we might end up getting stuck with cards we don't really need, but this is not doing anything negative to us. This one is really going to make things troublesome for us if we get confused. Um, I feel like none of our cards are that expensive, but who knows? I mean, I've seen it go both ways. So you have some extra options. It might stack really well. We just got bullet time. So maybe it will work really well with bullet time. Um, cause this is only going to get less expensive and everything like this, all the stuff is going to be free to cast. So it could work for us. What do we end up going with? I think we went with nothing because of votes, but either way, appreciate you guys. Putting in your opinions, putting in your votes. Oh, two is purely benefit. I did not know you could skip. Well, it is too late now. We have chosen to skip. Okay. Where are these elites? Okay, sort of spaced out. I'm gonna go off to the left for an elite, so... We can basically start anywhere. We have a good amount of gold, so let's see gold where our merchants are. Merchants are far up. Well, that sucks because our merchants are all before the second elite. That's kind of a bummer. So we won't be able to get two elites in on this run. So... Knowing that, sort of doesn't matter which direction we go in. So where are these enemies? I've got some question marks up on the right hand side. 
sort of like question marks. I think they're... I don't know, they just add something to the game. Um... I think I'm gonna start right here in the center. You can't aim with a mouse? It's like the only way I can aim. I tend to always go for the path with the most question marks. I do too. I don't know why. I like them. I feel like they add something. Oh, I don't want to deal with these. So much damage already. Dang it. All right. Damn. They're going to steal all my gold. I got to hit them. But I don't want to take all this damage. Ugh, this is gonna be annoying. Alright. I'm gonna get rid of a strike. Alright, so I'm defending most damage. I'm only gonna take... I can take none with this, but they're gonna steal my gold! I feel like they just attack every round. I might, I might end up firebombing these dudes to save my gold. I'm not gonna lie. If, I, if it comes down to it, they're getting bombed. I don't like this. Yeah, they're attacking every round. I can't, I can't mess with this. Frustrating that I'm getting hit this hard. But I gotta do it. <laughs> these these things are so annoying. Am I more circumstantial? I only go for question marks, so I don't want to get into a fight and need more cards. I just I feel like Question marks are fun. Okay, so I can... Poison them all, weaken them. Dagger spray on these fools. Ah, uh, I was... Oh wait, actually, there is enough damage. To kind of wreck them. I might actually, yeah, I'm gonna kill him with a bomb because he's gonna he's gonna f uh, is he gonna flee I guess I'll wait to see what he does if he's gonna flee I'm gonna bomb him I don't want to deal with that all right so dude in the back's running so I'm gonna bullet time and play everything baby such a fun card Dude in the front's definitely dead. So, yeah, this is not enough damage to kill him. So he's getting bombed. I'm keeping my money. Doesn't matter, he's dead anyway. Okay. It's a waste of a fire potion, but hey, I got another potion to replace it, so that worked out perfectly. And I didn't lose my money. Okay, oh, there's that cow traps that Squirrel was talking about. You don't have a gambling dick, so I always go question mark. It's so much fun. The question marks are different. Okay. Caltraps upgraded, which is awesome. And whenever you are attacked, deal five damage back, which is just an incredible card. And it doesn't even, if I have defense up, if I have shields up, it still works. So it's unbelievable. Uh, gain four block, zero cost with deflect and eviscerate. Costs one less for each card discarded. Deals eight damage three times. So, this is really not doing anything for us because we don't have any way to discard. So, honestly, I might end up just self-picking Caltrips. You know what? I might even vote for it myself because I really like that card. Haha! It's been skewed! But it's a great card. 
one of my favorites for this for this character in general. I just feel like every time I just it's just so beneficial. I feel like anytime anyone plays this character, no matter what, cow chops come up, just take it. The stupid thieves. 2016 election color eyes. All right, which way am I going? Guess this doesn't really matter. We're talking about those question marks. If I go this way, I'm gonna get one. But if I go this way, I'll get three. 